Hi there. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you Carmen's Creative Corner. This is where I do all my cards and all kind of crafty. Right here, this is the entry for my bedroom. So. I'm going to close the door. This is it. Basically, this is all you're going to see. I like to connect miniature cars, step stool, because I need to go up and get boxes. So I have to be very careful. I was gifted this dresser. It's pure wood. And within this dresser, I have all my embellishments. And I will just give you a little peek on it. Um, but let me show you first the setup, how I have it up. I have to go vertical and um, two of the cheap Walmart or Target bookcases right here. And then this is a entertainment center that I got at Ikea. My husband got it for me. And a calyx unit it's at the bottom so it's supposed to be for a tv but the fact that it had two drawers was even better for me to store stuff and then i posted on instagram that i had gotten a big piece of wood because i wanted to extend the uses on the table i did not buy this in one day trust me it took me a while to buy them um that's one set that's two that's one right here this whole set there's another one of those in there and then it it, it repeats and i asked my husband to get me a big piece of wood and i'm using it for helping out to put more stuff on it and to put the tripod that my daughter got me so I can record videos. So thanks to her and thanks to my oldest daughter advice, um, I'm starting to record videos. So um, she gave me, my oldest daughter gave me this little tower like three years ago and I have it and it's quite useful. And then in between while I'm working, you can see I'm work here and then I lay the scraps right here. And um, this is where I store all my tools. And so this is basically, this is it. I got two carts. They're on the side of my bedroom, but I'm not going to show you that. Um, and this is just main de mainly decorations. And that's mainly decorations right there. Um, knickknacks that my daughter has given me through the years and these are stuff that I've made and they're also decorations so everything um, basically is organized and all I can say is that yes you can create in a tiny spot so this room is not even five by five it's really this little corner right here but the room itself it was large enough that my husband said no I want you to scrapbook in the bedroom because that way he keeps me company and we could chat while I'm working so um so this is it this is basically my little corner and so um if you want me to give you details of what's in the boxes, then just leave comments down below. Um, but for example, um, sorry for the lighting. Um, right here, this is all specialty paper. Anything with texture. Um, Indian paper. Um, that's it right there. It goes all, all the way to the back. 
and I also have my cardstock there. And then this is colored paper and also themed paper. So this right here is all Christmas. And this has anything to do with fall, autumn, whatever. It's just right here. And then this is all by color. Down below in all those containers are my stamps by theme. I had this, I found this at a thrift store. And I use it to block that unpleasant sight of everything being stacked up. So I, and I used it and I decorated a little bit with the little things that I, this is my, my son, um, my oldest, the boys, he, he did that when he was in middle school back in Puerto Rico. So yeah. Now underneath my table, Right here, one of those Ikea. I got this at a thrift store um, for $15. And I have all my punches in there. So a machine, anything that has to do with tools and refills for my tools, they're in there. My little trash bin. This right here is where all the tools are in. And office supplies for the family and everything has to be labeled those two clear boxes are all pictures and I have my albums underneath there um, right there that's where I do all the scraps right here and the cards for project life that I don't use for project life I use it just to decorate and, and add embellishments to it. And then um, it's right there. And then this is all glue. And this is all vintage ephemera or any other kind of ephemera. That box is all Christmas. And this is all also autumn. Um, let's see. This is where all my inks are at. So it's easier for me to have access because my chair is right here, as you can see. Um so all my inks are in there and then i label them same thing that i had to do here and these are everything that has to do with um kind of distress my stickles my nouveau drops alcohol inks and other stuff over there is just acrylic paints these are all my stamps as you can see i do not have a lot and the reason why is because I try to use what I have. Um, um, I have a little stack of my textured paper in here that I also found at the thrift store. Um, and I got it divided by colors. And then if I want a little piece, I just grab it from there. But if I run out of a color here, then I go back where that metal showing is at where I showed you where my texture paper is. That's what I do. And then here is my refills for my sprocket, but I have also tiny three by four stamps all in there. I also found that at a thrift store. So it's easy for me um, just to have access to that. Um, my daughter got me this Tinji this Christmas. Um, she also gave me this from the previous school that she was working at as a teacher because she's a teacher um and she's no longer um they don't have that mascot in the new school that she's at so she gifted that to me and i used to put my acrylic paint um, brushes in there um i have acrylic paint here and there and she also made me these stuff dolls i painted that inspired by my eldest um granddaughter she had done a drawing quite a few years ago and um, she said it was because the girl was sad and it was a gloomy day and I decided that I was just going to go ahead and do the same um, design on it. And I feel like I mimicked it because basically when you're depressed, um, I mean, you could have 
You could be a, a person that believe in God and also have bad days. Um, to me, the umbrella represents God covering from the protection, but you could still, still have some gloomy days and yet you can be protected. So, and I did that. I think, I think it turned out really beautiful. Um, here I have anything that has to do with my planners. Um, normally I don't buy those big planners that everybody likes to get. Um, but I created my own, um, with the punch, with the, I guess this is what it called. Um, you can make books out of them, but it, it's the ring one. And then I, that's all that I have for the thickers that's it i don't have anything else and i like to do traveler's journal but it's just i have one so far i have one that is empty and then i have my inventory binder which is the green one and then i have that binder that is empty and then these are the only paper stacks that i have right here that size and then i have the six by sixes here and i also have textured and cardstock and any other paper that is eight and a half by 11 goes right there. So here is different. This would be my laminating paper or sheet that you get. Watercolor, as you can see, photo paper that you can play with alcohol marker. I mean, the alcohol markers and the alcohol inks. White cardstock, felt, and then something else in the back. This is where I get my little mini sidekick that i like to play with and the plates are right there and at the bottom i have um different kind of journals that i paint on a collection of crayons and then these are all the dies for the sizzix machine now here i have anything that is word related these are the Tim Holtz tiny ones, small talks. I have a different variety in there. And I also have my embossing folders on this one. Then this is my embellishment. I got these at um, Harbor Freight. They used to be $5.99, now they're $7.99. Um, they have little tiny containers in the inside and uh, that was very helpful um, let's see this is a um, beautiful box that I got at an auction I still preserve the ticket of when I bought it um, it was inside a box and I used it to um, put all my beads in there these are the beads findings. This is my little knickknacks for stick pins. This is all foam to give a little bit of dimension on my cards. And these are all words. Um, then if I stamp extra ones, I put it in here in that folder. I got this at um, the thrift store for a dollar. It's empty right now. These are all the only books for craft that I have. These are my coloring pencils, and this is all my coloring books. Here is to do vintage or junk journaling. And then way at the bottom, oops, sorry about that. Way at the bottom, I have some cutter cutting tools I mean the old-fashioned that I still use and laces two boxes of laces there you go so that's mainly it that's mainly it I don't have I don't think it's it's not big but it's where I create and I enjoy myself as you can see I have my little Google in there I play my music and this corner gets really hot so I got my tiny fan and it's awesome um, this is where I reach out to get my glues and 
all my stuff my inking yes so that's it basically i hope you like and subscribe and you get to see the my creations um and i hope you enjoy them as i start this journey in youtube um god willing uh i'm looking forward to making a lot of friends so if you want details about what's in here and what's in here and these these here and i'll show you my beads how i have them just leave a comment i'll be glad to do that for you all right y'all have a blessed day thank you for watching take care god bless bye